The gentleman from New York reserves, the gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield a minute and a half to uh, our, our colleague from the great state of Ohio, Mr. Winston. The gentleman you, Mr. from Ohio is recognized for one and a half minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. You know, I rise in strong support of this resolution, which condemns the wave of attacks on pro-life groups and facilities. As a nation, we are blessed to have a nationwide network of faithful, dedicated pro-life pregnancy centers that provide care for pregnant women and their babies. Women deserve to be offered the full range of health support that can help them in their time of need. Pro-life pregnancy centers do exactly that, offering a compassionate support system for pregnant women. Shamefully, since the Dobbs decision was rendered, these pregnancy centers have been under attack by radical abortion activists. We've seen horrific displays of vandalism, threats, and intimidation directed at pro-life groups and facilities for the simple fact that they support life. And they serve to help pregnant mothers in need. No one is forced to receive care at a pregnancy center, yet we see people committing violence on pregnancy centers. Why? Why? Are they angry that so many choose to not terminate the life of their own baby and let their child live rather than violently terminate the life of their own baby like all of your mothers did? I ask Congress to stand together and strongly condemn this violence by passing this resolution. And with that, Madam Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time.